the time has finally come to install the shelter deck. The area of the focal deck that's going to be covered by the shelter deck has been prepared, it's been painted, panel line has been applied, and everything has been sealed with a matte coat. The shelter deck itself has had multiple corrections done to it to bring it in line with current understanding of how HMS hood actually looked, and it has been painted, and its wooden deck has been installed. To glue down the shelter deck, I'm going to use Revell Contactor Professional that I apply with a old paintbrush. Since the inner walls of the superstructure are going to be inaccessible once the shelter deck is in place, I need to apply the glue before putting the shelter deck down. Revell Contactor Professional is also a fairly thick glue, so it can be used to fill some of the gaps that might occur between the top of these walls and underneath of the shelter deck. This glue does need to be applied quite carefully in this scenario because if any of it seeps forward when the shelter deck is installed, it will not be possible to remove it. So I'm applying it more to the back half of the top of the wall so that if it does get squashed down and seeps out, it seeps back into the cavity rather than forward into the area that will be visible. After applying the glue to all of the contact surfaces, the shelter deck can be installed. It is a good fit, but it is tight. So it does take a little bit of maneuvering to get the deck to actually clip into place. But once in place, you can see that it is clearly in the correct position, which means that it now just needs to be held in place firmly until the glue can dry. To get a bit of leverage onto the deck, I'm using paint jars, and I tape them down, not too tightly, but firmly with masking tape. The paint jars will push down the center of the deck to make sure that it is in contact with the inner walls, with the deck held in place over the inner walls, I'm going to reinforce the bond between the exterior of the deck and the exterior walls using Tamiya Extra Thin Plastic Cement. I apply it along the entire perimeter of the joint line. After that glue is in place, I use even more masking tape, although this time I don't raise it up in the center because I want to pull down the edges to make sure that the edge of the deck is in contact with the exterior walls. It is then just a matter of waiting. I waited 24 hours before removing the masking tape. Now that the shelter deck is in place, the long process of correcting the seam line begins and getting it all blended in to create a nice smooth finish. I'll start with these larger pillars that go over this open area in front of the enclosed shelter deck. These, for whatever reason, are slightly curved in so they need to be bent back to be vertical. From the images that I've seen, they need to be connected at the very edge of the shelter deck, so I need to bend them back into position and then smooth off that joint. This is a simple process, I just use tweezers to bend them back and then apply extra thin super glue to the joint to bond them instantly into position. Bending these pillars back did put a little bit of stress onto the balustrade and that caused the joint line to crack. Fortunately it hasn't moved much so I'm able to sand the area and then fill it with extra thin super glue to fill that crack. Bending the top of these pillars into the shelter deck is quite simple. This is a very easy area to access and a file is all that is required to complete that task and then a little bit of sanding to smooth off that finish. By far the most challenging aspect of this is going to be filling this long seam line between the shelter deck and this first level of the superstructure. To fill the gap I'll use Mr. Surfacer 500 applied with a paintbrush. This is going to require multiple layers to build it up and completely fill that gap. This is going to be a lot of sanding along some pretty tricky areas. There are lots of curves that I'm going to have to be careful of and try and work my way around. At least the plastic for the balustrades and the walls of the first level of the superstructure seem to be quite closely aligned. So it is mostly going to be an exercise in filling that gap and getting it right. At least I don't have to focus too much on trying to move walls or bulk up too much additional plastic in any area. This video is part of a build series on the HMS hood. If you are enjoying this video and would like to see other videos in the build series, then follow the link to the playlist in the cards above. If you have any questions that you would like me to answer, then feel free to post them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. After waiting around a day and a half for Mr. Surfacer to dry sufficiently, I can file it. It very quickly becomes apparent that with this filing, I'm not going to be able to preserve the gutters around the portholes, and that it's just going to be easier to remove them. 
And as I showed you in a previous video, I do have a technique to be able to replace them with lead wire. So that's not such an issue. It'll be much easier to just get them out of the way and then create a nice smooth surface. So instead of spending my time trying to worry about preserving the gutters for the portholes, I put all my effort into removing the extra surfacer and trying to create a smoother surface as possible. This filing was quite intense and very tedious. It was also in some cases surprisingly difficult. There's just so many details and objects around that you need to try and not damage. I, mean, I obviously said I'd remove the portals, but still there are other details that you want to try and preserve, like the top of the doors that have been molded in and the corners and things like that. In a few cases, I did remove some detail that I didn't want to. Mostly it's got to do with the edges and having crisp corners. That was a bit unfortunate, but I was able to reconstruct them at a later stage by adding in more putty and super glue and then being able to reshape that to get a clean corner again but essentially all that this is is a iterative process of sanding filing spraying on more mr surfacer and then sanding and filing until i get it into the shape that i want it to be and then in the areas where detail had been removed reconstructing it and for the most part i found that i could reconstruct with either mr surfacer super glue or putty or some combination of those things to get detail back to the level that it was in before I had accidentally removed it during this rather rough process. As for Trumpeter's part in all of this, like they could have made it easier. There's no need to have the shelter deck just sitting flat on top of these walls. They could have either used a sloped edge or had a little recess on these walls such that the deck could sit inside the walls instead of on top of them. I think that would have made things significantly easier because then even if you wanted to hide the joint line from above you would have had a flat surface on which to work and that would have made things considerably easier instead of trying to work around all of these curves and features that stick out after all of the filing and sanding i'm ready to move on to the finer finishing to do this i need to see where the defects are so that i can correct them and this will be a very iterative process the easiest way to see a defect is to paint the area that will bring out nicks and scratches so clearly so i spray the area i then inspect it for defects and any defects that i find i fill with extra thin super glue i then sand it level and spray the area again and check for defects this process is repeated and repeated until i don't find any defects once i am happy that i've removed all of the defects from the area i spray it in mr surfacer 1000 and it is now ready for its final paint. But before I paint it, I'm going to restore the details that have been lost, and you'll see that in the next video. If you would like to support this channel, or see how this ship looks when it is completed, then please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.